Hello and Namaste. There is this story that I read about Napoleon and the French scientist Laplace. Napoleon asked Laplace where God fit into his scientific work. And Laplace is said to have famously replied, Sir, I have no need of that hypothesis. Ironically, we have now reached a point in physics where it is becoming increasingly difficult not to fit God into our hypotheses. There are many discoveries in physics that are pointing to an intention to the universe, if not an intelligence. These discoveries are indicating that the universe is not a random consequence of a random event. They are leading to the startling conclusion that the universe may have been created for the explicit purpose of supporting life. And this is blowing everyone's mind. Today, I want to talk to you about one of them. First, let us look at the four forces that shaped our universe. The most well-known is gravity. It keeps the stars and planets in their places and it keeps us bound to our planet. The other three forces created the atom. Electromagnetic force which holds the electrons in their orbit around the nucleus. Strong nuclear force which keeps all the protons together in the nucleus. Weak nuclear force which is responsible for radioactive decay. All the known forces of nature can be traced to these four fundamental forces. It is believed that all four of them emerged from a single force just after the Big Bang. If you think of universe as a giant building, you can think of these forces as the foundation and superstructure around which the universe is constructed. They have shaped every aspect of our universe, from the creation of fundamental particles to the stars and the galaxies and the planets. The universe would not exist without these forces. You know what is strange about these forces? They are very delicately fine-tuned. If their strength was even slightly different, the universe would not exist. For example, if the strong nuclear force was 2% stronger, the atom would not exist. If this force varied as less as half a percent, then life would not have been possible. There are 19 such numbers that emerge from the laws of physics which we call the fundamental physical constants like the mass of the atom, the charge of an electron, the gravitational constant, etc. The remarkable fact is that the values of these numbers seems to have been very finely adjusted to make possible the development of life. If they vary even 1 or 2 percent, the universe would not exist as it is and life would not be possible. Gravity is another intriguing puzzle. Gravity is the weakest of all fundamental forces. It is a thousand trillion 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 times or 10 to the power of 40 times weaker than the electromagnetic force. The other three forces are similar in strength. Scientists are struggling to explain why gravity alone is so weak since all of them emerge from the same force around the same time right after the Big Bang. Let me explain how this difference in strength impacts you and me directly. Why do you think you are standing on the surface of the earth and not plunging to the center of the earth? The gravity of the entire earth is pulling you to the center, isn't it? Yet you effortlessly overcome it. This is because of the electromagnetic force. The electrons in your feet are being rippled by the electrons in the floor. This force is so strong that you are not even touching the floor. At an atomic level, you are floating slightly above it. The electrons in the tiny piece of earth where you are standing is effortlessly overcoming the gravity of the entire earth. That is how weak gravity is compared to the other three forces. Why is gravity so weak? No one can say. Except that if gravity was as strong as the other fundamental forces, all the atoms would smash together and nothing can exist. If gravity was not so weak, we would not have a functioning atom. It is as if someone has dialed down gravity alone in order to make the atom possible. Let us look at the Big Bang itself. 
an explosion sounds like a chaotic incident. We imagine a bomb bursting and randomly scattering the debris everywhere. We assume our universe was created from this mess. Not at all. Big Bang 2 was fine-tuned to create the cosmos. It exploded at exactly the right force to create the universe. If the force of explosion was even one part in a million, that is 0.0001% more powerful than what it was, universe could not have existed. It looks like it carefully exploded with exactly the right force for the formation of the atoms and the stars and the galaxies. Are you wondering why this is a big deal? Maybe they all randomly acquired these perfect values to make the universe what it is. Let me try to explain why this is puzzling the scientists so much. Random things do not look like this in the real world. Anything that is this fine-tuned cannot be random. If the universe happened because of a random event, you should be able to vary any of these fundamental values by a lot and it should not impact the outcome. If you take a handful of sand and then pick another handful, you cannot identify the difference between these two handfuls. The individual particles of sand in the two handfuls may be vastly different, but it does not impact the outcome. The two handfuls look pretty much the same you wouldn't be able to differentiate one from the other. That is how a random event looks. Even if a whole lot of things change, it will not impact the outcome. Now, let us compare this with something that is not random. If you take a pot and you pick a similar pot which is slightly cracked, you can tell the difference, isn't it? This is because a pot is made with intention for a specific purpose. Even a tiny crack is enough to destroy its function. As the conscious effort and intelligence being put into an object increases, its randomness decreases. If you take a sophisticated instrument like MRI scanner or a rocket, even minor variations in one parameter will prevent it from functioning. That is exactly how the universe behaves. Even minor changes in one of its parameters leads to a complete breakdown of the universe. The Big Bang looks less like an explosion and more like an unfolding symphony where all the billions of galaxies, trillions of stars, the atoms and us are in perfect harmony. You may ask, isn't it like all debates on science and God? Just because science doesn't know something, we say God must have created it. Let me explain to you why this is different. Here we are not talking about a lack of information, something which we can discover later on. This is the presence of concrete information. The most straightforward conclusion that you can draw from this information is that the universe was designed. That is the simplest explanation for these facts. Let us compare this with Darwin's theory of evolution. The reason life evolved was because it could adapt to a wide variation in Earth's parameters. Life can survive widely different climatic conditions and many different geographies. Now let us assume this is not the case. Even if the temperature on the Earth changed by one degree, there would be no life. Even if there was 1% less water and 0.5% less oxygen, life would not have been possible then the most obvious conclusion would be that Earth was designed for life. And that is exactly how universe looks like today. Minor changes in its fundamentals and there would be no stars, no planets, no life. It is because of this unexplained fine-tuning that scientists are coming up with theories like multiverse theory. If there was only one universe, then this kind of delicate fine-tuning cannot be explained without intelligent design. Scientists cannot possibly say that there is an intelligence, an intention behind the universe. That would be the equivalent of sacrilege for scientists. 
So they conclude there are infinite universes with all possible combinations of these fundamental physical constants. We just happen to live in the one which is perfect for the stars to shine and life to happen. You know what is ironic about this theory? There is no way of proving it. You cannot observe these universes or prove that they exist. Scientists acknowledge this too. In the absence of intelligent design, this is the only explanation that makes sense. At this point, science begins to resemble religion. Listen to what scientists are saying. It can never be proven. You just have to take our word for it because this is the only possible explanation. I'm sure all of you must have heard of this principle called Occam's Razor. According to this principle, if there are two explanations for a given set of facts, the simpler one is more likely to be correct. This principle is used in all branches of science. Which do you think is the simpler explanation for the universe based on the facts we have? An intelligence principle shaping this universe or an infinite number of parallel universes? The jury is still out on this one. That's it from me this week. Stay tuned for more such revelations from the world of science. Thank you for watching. As always, please like, subscribe and share it with your friends. Press the bell icon and you'll get reminders whenever I post a new video. Until next week, Namaste.